Tables are a great way to organize content on your page. While most of us think of tables in their traditional sense as a way to organize numbers, you can also use them to create columns of text. Here's how to use tables in your page. On this page I already have a few paragraphs, but I want to lay them out a little differently. First, I put my cursor up here and make some space to create my table. Then I just click the Table button on the Easy Editor and choose the number of rows and columns. Rows are horizontal and columns are vertical. I'm trying to create a two-column layout, so I set rows to 1 and columns to 2. The width of your table can be set through pixels or a percentage of the width of the page. I'm going to set mine to 700 pixels as I know that my page is 760 pixels wide. Height is the size of your table up and down the page. A header is an emphasized row or column. The border is a line that shows around each cell of your table. Since I'm using my table to align content, I don't want it to show. I set it to zero. Alignment is where your table is positioned on the page. Cell spacing is the amount of space between each cell in pixels. Cell padding is the amount of space around the content within each cell. I generally like to give my content a little room, so I set it to 5. When you've made all your adjustments, just click OK. Here's my table, but I want the column on the left to be wider than the column on the right. So I right-click on the cell I want to expand, and click Cell. Then Cell Properties. I want my cell to be 550 pixels wide, so I make the adjustment and click OK. You now see that the cell in the left column is bigger than the one on the right. All I need to do now is copy my text over into the proper cells. As you probably noticed, with tables there are a lot of little options. Just play around with things until you get it looking the way that you like. And when you're finished, just remember to click Save.